Hello, my name is Dr. Kendall Lee. I'm a neurosurgeon and the director of Mayo Neuroengineering Laboratories at the Mayo Clinic. Today I have with us Mr. Peter Gron. Hello, Peter. Hi. Can you please tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, so as Kendall said, my name is Peter Gron and I'm a fourth year PhD student in the Neurobiology of Disease track here at Mayo Clinic. I, in 2005, I suffered a cervical spinal cord injury while swimming at one of Minnesota's 10,000 lakes. Since then, naturally, my interest in spinal cord injury research has grown exponentially, and due to that, I've joined Dr. Lee's lab to further my, further my education and research in spinal cord injury to try to uh, reach a cure for others such as myself that are dealing with chronic paralysis. So um, you're nearing your PhD um, defense soon. Yes. Can you help us to understand what your thesis defense is on? Yeah, so using technologies that have develop, been developed between the Neural Engineering Lab and the Division of Engineering, we began my thesis research by employing a wirelessly controlled electrical stimulator in a rodent or rat model of paralysis that had been paralyzed for seven days. We stimulated within the spinal cord using a technique called intraspinal microstimulation, mm -hmm. and we wirelessly controlled that stimulation to restore hip or hind limb flexion and extension responses in this rodent model. Well, you know, Peter, this is very exciting research. Where do you hope that this research would go? I hope to eventually develop technologies in collaboration with uh, other groups throughout the country to restore function using both intraspinal and epidural stimulation to try to translate these technologies into human work. You know, Peter, I've, for the past four years, I've had the pleasure and the honor of working with you. Mm -hmm. You are now about to move into, uh, after your PhD, what do you hope to research? So I hope to both work on the human side using epidural stimulation techniques that have been established in, in other labs and reported to be successful mm -hmm. for restoring volitional function, as well as develop the preclinical intraspinal stimulation mm -hmm. Uh, techniques that are emerging for for developing into human work as well. Well, you talked about epidural stimulation. Mm -hmm. tell, tell us about that more. So epidural stimulation is a technique that's established FDA approved for treating pain by stimulating the, the surface of the spinal cord in a more generalized manner, but it's also been shown to increase excitability of the spinal cord and allow those that are suffering from chronic paralysis to regain some volitional control of function below their level of injury. Peter, I've had the honor and the privilege of working with you for the past four years, and I think that really you and your research is quite inspiring. Mm -hmm. um, where do you think we will be going in the near future? I think that the, the field of neural interfaces and neural engineering is a very exciting field, and I feel like it's just at the, in its infancy for what it can do to help people with neurologic disease to restore function to uh, help improve quality of life for these for these patients. Okay, well Peter, thank you very much. And again, my name is Dr. Kendall Lee. I'm with Mr. Peter Gran discussing about neural technologies and spinal cord injury. Thank you.